My head. That is tight, and that's about the right size for I your head. <laughs> Let's just goofing around a little bit. That's it here at Giant Eagle. Got all the ingredients, all the food I need to prepare my wife a beautiful, elegant meal. Now, it's all left up to me to cook it. All right, look, I can't cook. I never was gonna cook. There's a professional chef at my home right now preparing a beef tenderloin meal, especially for me and my wife. I'm gonna sear it presentation side down first. We're gonna reduce it with our sauce and pick up all those nice brown bits. It's a lot of flavor. It's gonna make it seem as though that I cooked. But no, not this time. Maybe next time, but not this time. <sighs> I don't like to play tricks on people, but uh, this one's for you, babe. Spice croutons. I'm really cooking over here. I feel like I'm actually doing something. I'm only making a salad. I stirred it up pretty good and, you know, did my thing. You know, I felt like I was uh, really cooking, even though I didn't. It felt like I did. Hello? Can you please come home? Keeping her out was just a task because she, she kept calling me like, can I come home now? <laughs> like, I need to get some things. I, I'll come and leave. And it would have blew all out of proportion if she would have came home right then and there in the middle of us preparing the meal and getting everything situated. And you cannot leave this for one second, so I want to get this done before she comes in. Maria showed up and it was showtime. Uh, we know we had to get the chef out of the kitchen, of course, and into her hiding space. So Maria could not see her and not, you know, it, the whole plan not be thrown off. And uh, we got her out and she was out hiding and then Maria walked in. Guys? Yes, sweetheart. I smell food. Yes, it is food. Here you go, baby, see? What you got here? I made for you there. What's that? Some beef tips. My plan worked too. Right there on it, right there. If only, you know, I could have just didn't, you know, left the cookout, you know, locked her in the bathroom or locked her in the closet or something till the end of the night. It would have been perfect for me. Hey, Josh, I really have to go. Um, I'm so <laughs> Oh, my God, you lied! Josh! No, no. What she is not lie? a chef, baby. She he wanted to learn. He chef. did it all with me. My arm is cut off. And that will wrap, wrap it up on the episode of Josh's Crib. See you next time. Want me to do it one time? And I was wondering, uh, when Josh Crib's house show um, is off air in three weeks, I was wondering uh, if we can get the new uh, T-Money and Steptoe show. It's Josh's Crib, it's Josh's Crib. <laughs> <laughs> T-Hole, he's waiting to do that.